Hello and welcome. And I run a Facebook group called Fans of Serif Software. And recently, Eric Rush posted this item here about how he'd accidentally found in Affinity Publisher that you could move a style around, not all styles, but certain styles in Affinity Publisher, and it didn't seem to work in the other two Affinity programs. So I thought I'd sort of take a look into this. But before we do that, just a, a quick word about styles. Um, there's a style tab in, let's just go to designer, there's a style tab here in designer um, and it's in, available in Affinity Publisher, Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo. And once you have a style that you can download or make yourself, you can use be used in all three programs. Um, so I come back to here now there's there's two styles that I'm going to use for this particular demonstration and they can be got from affinity graphics now these are all three free downloads and they do brushes um, palettes and styles if I come down to the bottom here I should be able to see view all resources and then they have all different sort of styles and objects that you can download and I'm going to be going for the brush metal and there should be another metal one I can't remember, it might be on page 2 but there's all sorts of gradients and styles and what have you that you can download and I'll put a link to this in the description for this video so now I'm not certain whether this will work in all versions of these three programs or whether it's just the versions that I particularly have. Um, looking at the versions that I've got, now the publisher, this is the beta version obviously and it's 1.7.0.249. Designer version is 1.6.5.123 and the photo version is 1.6.5.123 these are all on the PC whether these work the same and Macs I cannot say so I've opened up an A4 uh, landscape image and this doesn't seem to work on artistic text and it doesn't sort of need to be frame text let me draw out this frame here and it's better viewed in a sort of thick uh, chunky typeface so I'm just going to go with this Apple boy one but you could use whichever one you want and I'm going to start the size so it's a bit more visible at 220 and then just type something in there and what I will do I'm going to just duplicate that and I'll move that down, save me having to type it twice and come back to the text tool. So we have, I'm going to hide that layer for the moment. So we have the the text that we've typed. So if we now pick a style and I'm going to go for the dream brush metal style. So. Now, the annoying thing about this particular style is that it seems to have its own rules as to size and what have you. So once you use this, it will change the size of it. Not all styles do that, but this one does. So I'll just highlight that and make that 220 again. So there you have the particular style. So if you come down to the bottom of these handles in the middle, and just click and drag it down. As you can see, the style inside is being affected by how you pull this up and down. It doesn't work on all text uh, styles. Um, it seems to be mainly those that have a gradient or the shadow, drop shadow, that it is affected by. Let me come back to the layers and I'll highlight that one again and 
I turn off the top one this time. Now this particular style is called um, sorry, doesn't get the right one would help styles. Um, I'm going to go for the Dream Cinematics one and make sure that I'm in that box. I'm going to go for this style here which I think is called Superhero. I can't remember exactly but I think it's that one. And if I come to the center of the side um, nodes and I move that. No, that's not working so well. Let's try a different style. Which one's more? Yes, it's having some effect, but not. Hopefully, you can see that 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 is altering it by moving it sideways, and obviously, you can alter it by moving that up and down. So, it, a lot of it depends on uh, you know the style that you pick and whether it's adaptable. Um, to allowing you to move it sideways or up and down. Now, looking at this in design at this time, so again, I'm just going to draw the box and got the same font here, so and I'm going to go for the same brushed metal. So again, this will resize back down to the smaller size for some. I don't quite understand why it works on some and not others, but so here, if I click on the bottom middle one, you can move that up and down. And I come to the cinematics one and pick one was it? Oh, vampire. Let's try that one. That's it. See, we're in designer. It just moves the word. Might just because I have this set on centered. Let's try having it aligned to the left. No, see, it doesn't really have the same effect moving it sideways. It's having, it's having a minor effect. I can just about see it. I don't know whether you can see it on the computer screen. And lastly, come into photo. And there we go. Oh boy. And this type that in. I'm not going to resize it because it's only going to drop down in size when I pick the brush metal and then I'll resize it. So again coming to the bottom middle I can alter it in photo in the same way and cinematics. Um, let's see if I can find. Oh, let's try this sci-fi one. It might show up better if it's going to work. Oh, let's put this a line to the left. Yeah, so there is having an effect also going sideways in photo. Yeah, if the gradient is right for the particular style. Let's try that one in sci-fi. It might show up better in designer. Yeah, so yes that can go. You can alter the style sideways and up and down in all three programs depending on whether the style has a gradient or drop shadow that is able to be adapted. Not all styles will work but it's something you can play around with and try out. Sorry for the, some of the minor mistakes in there. Thank you for watching and goodbye.